morning, I'm Danny Hofer. We're out here at our place just southeast of Huron, South Dakota for a late season pheasant hunt. It's a beautiful day and we should have a great hunt for you to watch today. It should make a really good show. Rooster! Rooster! Piper, here. Here, Piper's got it, Danny. I got it. Okay. Rooster! Rooster! Sherman, take it! <laughs> A rooster! Creed, heel. Heel. Sit. Drop. Thank you. Hopefully they're running ahead of us right now. We're hunting over a sorghum food plot right now. We have several of these and they're really great in the late winter. That's really great if you have a little snow in the ground. We've lost a little bit of ours now, but when all the fields are covered with snow, the only food that's available is in the food plots. And so by planting sorghum or corn food plots, there's both food and cover available when there's no other food out on the flat. So it makes for a great congregation of birds for hunting. Rooster! 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 Nice shot at the end. Okay, we just finished our first walk here. We had uh, 13 hunters here. In the early season, we would hunt this about with about eight or nine, but in the later season, these birds have been shot at, they're wild, they're skittish, so we have to try to surround them more. Well, another thing that happens this time of year is with everything covered with snow, it isn't dry anymore, so the, the scent is really good. Uh, we have good dogs and a lot of them, and so they can really scent out the birds and get them up that are there, but at the same time, when they're, when they're getting up ahead of time and hearing us, you know, we have pretty long shots. That's why we're using additional people down the side and additional wingers, uh, because sometimes the shots are just too far out. So on this walk so far, we've seen a number of birds uh, a majority of them are hens, and that's really good to see this time of year. We know they've made it to January, end of January. That's where the population comes from in the spring, and it's all about the spring hatch, of course. And we've seen a few roosters. We've shot a couple of roosters on this walk. They tend to either sit really tight and run on you, or they get up early and go. So we're hoping once we push the cedars out here that there's a good population of uh, roosters in the food plot up ahead of us. Come on, Mike, come. Rooster! Rooster! Out of the way, Ryan! Rooster! Shot, Mike! Hey, Rooster! Nice shot. So when we're out here hunting, generally what we do is we have walkers that line up um, across from each other. We have a winger or two that are up ahead of us on the sides of the field, and then we have blockers at the end. So what you have to do is be very careful with your shots. We shoot blue sky only, in other words, Rooster! You have to see blue sky under the bird. The low birds we let go, and then a winger might get a shot. Once the bird gets outside of the group, then they can take a little bit lower shots. But you want to make sure those birds get up over the food plot so that you're not shooting towards any of the other wingers because right on the other side of a food plot is another winger. So you want to be very careful, be safe, walk with your safety on at all times and your finger outside of the trigger guard. Hand. Rooster! 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 Okay, today we're hunting out here at our place and we got my good friend Sherman Ghost out here. Hunts with us occasionally and he's a crack shot and uh, we like to have him out so he can help us out. Thank you, Danny. We enjoyed today's hunt. Uh, the Huron area has number one, number two, uh, the last few years the best harvest numbers in the state of South Dakota and during hunting season our town really opens up and welcomes hunters from all over the country all over the world to be here our restaurants are suited for the hunters 
our hotels, welcome dogs, and everything you need to hunt is right here in the Huron area, from all of our shops to get your ammo and gear, to the public land, to the private land that's out here. We had a wonderful hunt today on private land, but around the Huron area, there are tens of thousands of acres that are available for public hunting. It has great habitat and wonderful pheasant numbers. Everything you need is right here for some of the best hunting in the world. Here we are on January 26th, just finished a nice late season, season hunt on a beautiful day. As you can see, we had a lot of success. A bunch of my friends are crack shots, and we have a lot of good dogs. Had a great time here, and for your for information on how you can hunt here in South Dakota, check the website below. I'm Danny Holther. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.